sunset Hand blowing smoke, catch a contact That is amazing. I don't think I've ever worn such incredible clothes. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. <laughs> Me, when I play the Imperial March correctly with one mistake, mate, get on my level. <laughs> play with multiple mistakes. <laughs> I only have one pair of Cooper boots. Is it, is it even here? I think it's over here somewhere. I still remember when I was in university, everybody was like treating these things like the Louis Vuitton of sticks. Literally, they'd be like, ah, oh, you can't use it on the rim. It's, it's gonna get that. Ah, oh, you can't use it on the cymbal. Ah, oh, you can't use it on the drum. Okay, that was good. Because a lot of people really smash this piece, especially on Paduke instruments. They think it's like, you know, oh, it's bright instrument. I can hit it as hard as I want. And then it's kind of like, and that's, um, <laughs> Oh, that was good. That good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. It's time for the first episode of 2021. It is, let's watch ya. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Marimba Maurice, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlos, Sanction Han, Scott Rado, Greg Harris, DP Newberger, Mr. Grizzly, and Jay Carol Gilliland. Thank you so much for joining the Studio VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Jeff Grafton. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Amtan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well. Hope you've been staying safe. Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. And yeah, welcome back to 2021. Hopefully this year is better than the last one. Today's video, we're going to be looking at your submissions on the Studio Family Discord. If you haven't already joined, it's at adamtampercussion.com forward slash Discord. We are almost at 400 members and growing, so it's really good to welcome all of you guys there. But before we get into the content, because it is January, I do have some parcels that have been sent into the studio that I want to unbox right here for you guys. So. Here's the first package from my friend Kana Omori. Now, I believe there is a very new release in here by her, as well as a few other items that I don't know anything about. So... Oh! Yamero! What is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'll explain what this is in a second, but is this, is this what I think it is? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Zenitsu! These look like outfits um, related to a certain anime. If you know what anime it is before I say it, leave it in the comments below. Are these, are these pants? Oh, <laughs> this is so crazy. Look, there's even a belt as well. Kana, wow, you really... Okay, there's a few more important things in this box, but I just want to look at this clothing first. Bro, this is so cool. This character is Metsu in Kimetsu no Yaiba, so uh, if you guys don't know what that is, that is Demon Slayer, and I think this is like a full outfit. It's like a like a school jacket. Oh, suke! look at this. <laughs> I should have worn this for We Are Heroes. This is so cool. I think I can wear both at the same time. I am Zenitsu. <laughs> I literally said it. <laughs> I just need the blonde hair and the lining and then I'm good. That is amazing. I don't think I've ever worn such incredible clothes. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so in addition to the wonderful drip that Kana has given, thank you so much, Kana. This is so cool. Uh, we also have some other little bits and pieces. <laughs> so Kana's been making miniature versions of her mallets and this is a pencil version of her mallet. <laughs> this is so cute. It even has the same engraving as the Encore Mallets one. And then we have a little uh, charm version. You can put this on a key or something. Kana, if you aren't already selling these, you totally should. This is so cool. Whoa! Brand new arrangement of Senbon Zakura and also Gurenge from Demon Slayer, hence the drip. <laughs> this Kana does actually make merchandise of these cat Marimba shirts. I don't have one of these cat marimba shirts to show you, but they look extremely cute. I'll put a picture up on the screen right now. Thank you so much, Kana, for sending me all of this. Arigato gozaimasu. And I would love to play this very soon. If you're interested in Zenbon Zakura or Kurange, links in the description down below. Okay, that was the first package I was going to open. And now time for the second package, which is... Oh, that's a lot heavier than I expected. <laughs> Last year I was talking about Edition Switzer's initiative. Edition Switzer is my publisher that publishes hard copies of my music. Free music to 100 conservatoriums and universities around the world. And if you want to check out the video where I unboxed all of those scores, it's over here. It was just an epic selection of scores. And so I think this is actually a whole bunch of packages for Australian schools and universities. So let's check it out. Oh, I should open it the other way. Oh, look at that, fully stacked. So each one of these cases, just like I mentioned in that video, is full of 
Scores, really good scores. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, and look at which one is at the top. It's my music, Hope. Yes, Hope is also available on hard copy if you want to check it out. It's in the link in the description below. And these are going to be posted out to these universities in Australia. One of them is my university, UWA, and a whole bunch of other universities across Australia. So if you are from any of these schools, you're going to be getting one of these packages very, very soon so that we can all share in this amazing music. Look how. Look how much free sheet music this is. There's literally no profit coming out of this. I'm very happy to support initiatives like this always. Oh, and of course there are some extra copies of Hope for Myself. Oh man, it's so nice having fresh sheet music in the office. I love the smell of it. Okay, well that was the unboxing. If you wanna see more unboxings on this channel, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it so much. Let's head over to the Discord content. Okay, so I thought I would start off this year by looking at some memes. <laughs> I love looking at memes and we do have a dedicated memes channel here on the Studio Family Discord. So let's take a look. Note flight, you guys always act like you're better than me. Musecore, Finale, Sibelius, Dorico. <laughs> I honestly, I've never used anything other than Sibelius and Finale and when people talk about MuseScore and Doroku, I'm just completely like, what is that? <laughs> Top Gear, <laughs> this is brilliant, but I like this. <laughs> Yeah, I get that music score is good, okay? You don't have to keep telling me, but no. I, I think it's really good that we have lots of options for sheet music nowadays. Oh, this one is a classic. This one is literally a classic. <laughs> like, I've done a lot of crazy things with percussion before. I've thrown plates into a garbage bag, I've broken glasses, I've drilled holes in wood for a piece, and this one tells you to put your head through a timpani. So that's what they did. I believe they used a paper head for it, but it's still like, I'd be so scared of smashing my face against the rim. <laughs> Me, when I play the Imperial March correctly with one mistake. Mate, get on my level. <laughs> play with multiple mistakes. <laughs> How to provoke a percussionist. <laughs> <laughs> with the Jansport, the Jansport on the timpani. This is one of the most hilarious things you can do, especially with marimba, right? When people put stuff on marimba, I get so triggered. Like sometimes people will come to my studio and they'll put their phone on my marimba and I'm just be like, you dead. Drumline, start at the part that goes digga digga dot digga dot dot us 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 with that five into the flam. Rest of the band, I like your funny words magic man. <laughs> <laughs> we get this a lot here in percussion because we vocalize everything. Even as classical percussionists, I'll say like, okay, just do that digga digga dugga dugga dot part. And then my student will be like, which digga digga dot? There's two digga digga dot. <laughs> percussionists, when they get to use the thunder shit. Kaboom? Yes, we go kaboom. <laughs> I haven't used a thunder sheet in a long time, but one time, actually, we couldn't find a thunder sheet to use in time for the performance, so someone had to actually go online and find like a WAV file of a thunder sheet being played and just plugged in his phone. It's like, Gush. so his phone's literally being used for just that one sound. You know, sometimes it's very hard to find a piece of metal. Four mallets, how others see it, how I see it. <laughs> It really do be like that sometimes, our secret power of four mallets. You know the amount of times where people say, can you play with four sticks? Four sticks? Well, everything changed when the Stevens Nation attacked. Okay. My Coopermans get dented. Me, I'm never gonna financially recover. <laughs> I only have one pair of Coopermans. Is it, is it even here? I think it's over here somewhere. One set of Coopermans. That's all I have. And they already have many dents in them, as you can see. But I still remember when I was in university, everybody was like treating these things like the Louis Vuitton of sticks. Literally, they'd be like, ah, oh, you can't use it on the rim, it's, it's gonna get dented. Ah, oh, you can't use it on the cymbal. Ah, oh, you can't use it on the drum, it's gonna get marks on the... <laughs> I mean, they're not that expensive, okay? They are nice sticks, don't get me wrong, but they, they are meant to be used as sticks. Will I ever be able to play with good intonation? As sure as the sun will rise, 9.50 a.m. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is with marimba, I think I say this a lot with marimba too, because marimba is like fixed pitch, right? So you never have to worry about intonation. And a lot of people who play like violin and flute and clarinet, like it's very hard to get pitching accurate. So we actually have nothing to complain about. <laughs> the band director telling the drums they're playing too fast. The drums. <laughs> this is me when I played, I think it was um, Mozart number 40, I think. And I was playing timpani and I was always ahead of the beat. And the conductor was just like, you really don't know how to count. <laughs> he literally just roasted me in front of everybody. And since then I've learned about the whole thing about, you know, when the conductor's far away, you gotta account for the distance and all of this. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I don't play an orchestra anymore. <laughs> oh, this one is uh, personal. This one hits with me. Me messing with the tempo in my marimba piece to make it more musical. Reality can be whatever I want. <laughs> 
I think one of my teachers had this joke where it was like, when you play marimba, if you don't know how to play the piece, just write molto espressivo and you can just play as slow as you want. You can just take your time with every phrase. Honestly, I really don't like it when people do that with pieces and I used to do it when I couldn't figure out how to play. I'd just take the tempo super, super, super slow. And I'm going to finish it with one of the long running jokes of the Studio Family Discord. We've got French grip, we've got German grip, we've got traditional grip, and we've got Italian grip. <laughs> Forget about what anyone says, Grip di Italiano is the strongest grip in the world. Okay, now our Discord server is also very good for submitting your Let's Watch submissions. Of course, if you want to join us again, it's at adamtampercussion.com forward slash Discord. And we do have a dedicated Let's Watch section. So I'm going to pick one out from the concert section this time because we watch a lot of marching content. And this one is from Jesse, a slightly under tempo white knuckle stroll. Oh man, this is the original Flex piece. Two mallet flex from Casey Cangelosi. One thing I'm proud of about while learning this is that I'm only striking the middle of the bars. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, man. I'm really excited. Let's watch. Okay, so white knuckle stroll and Jesse is wearing black. It's a very dark venue. It looks very, very scenic. I don't really need to say much about this piece other than it is a very big flex. And I also really like that he's playing this on a marimba one. <laughs> I'm not biased at all, I promise. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay, so he's using rubber mallets and slightly under tempo, but it's accurate. Here we go. Okay. Okay. His bar placement is very good, yeah. Sharp placement's great. Here we go. Cool. Okay, stop there for a second. Very good so far. It's actually sounding really good. Even though it is under tempo slightly, quality of his sound is very good. It sounds not harsh at all. It sounds really smooth, actually, which is something you don't really associate with white knuckle straw normally. Normally we just think, Pfft! so it's not that. <laughs> and it actually sounds really good. I like his bar placement. I like his confidence. I do feel like he could maybe lift the mouths a little bit more for a little bit more theater, a bit more character, um, but that's a small thing. So yeah, let's, let's keep watching for now, but I'm really liking it. Nice flams. Ah, nice. Nice. Like the breath that he did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like that he's bringing out the left hand. Da, 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 da. Very accurate. No mistakes at all. Nice. Oh, that stroke is well executed. Uh, okay, he just missed that, but he got it. Uh huh. Okay. Crescendo, 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 crescendo. Ah, okay, stop there. Oh, not bad. I'd say, again, it's pretty good. We do tend to feel like it is slowing down a little bit. But again, accuracy is very high. I would much rather a highly accurate version that is slower than a fast version that is full of wrong notes. It's a good foundation to work on. Now, what I just noticed there was when he released the last note, he kind of didn't let it sit. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go back a little bit. So this part is quite like full on, right? There's a lot of texture, a lot of, a lot of continuity. 
Ah, okay. Now, where it cuts there, I feel like... Like, really, really nice big uh, um, release would have been nice. Just something to, like, cut the tension. Because, like, it feels like it's building up to something. And then he's kind of like... Eh. Okay, let's go. Like, it's very, very casual. So I think a bit more theater with the tension would make it more interesting. I think if you are going to take it slow, you have space to do all of these um, more interesting theatrical visual moves. I think that would be much more uh, visceral if you're watching this as an audience member. Anyway, let's keep watching. I'm still liking the sound very much, so that's good. It's got nice mellow height over here, which is nice. Okay, nice. Okay, hold on. So these accents that he's doing, these sudden sharp accents, um, I feel like he's got the right idea, but he's kind of pushing them in instead of just using, I, I believe there's a rattan mallet. I feel like you could use more natural rebound, like, psh, like if you have a badminton racket and you just want to smash that shuttle card, you go, psh, right? Uh, just think of that sort of whipping motion rather than um, a push. Because I used to do that a lot. Like I played a lot of two mallet, like xylophone rags and stuff. And whenever there were accents, I'd be like, Ugh! and it works, but it, you can hear it and you can also see the tension and it's not so effective and it tires you out a lot faster. So that's, that's a small thing. Yeah, so, so and then bouncing off the bar would help too, like, like that instead of down. Oh, nice. Okay, that was good. Nice. Clean runs, clean runs. His voicing is very good too. That was actually all right, but let's just, I just want to watch that ending again because um, this ending is very important. Yeah. So it should be like and then like it should be a really explosive ending. And I feel like that was a little bit too matter of fact. It was kind of like I was kind of left wondering what, what comes next sort of thing. So it's actually a really good rendition by Jesse and I really applaud his care in getting the sound quality to sound really good because a lot of people really smash this piece, especially on Paduke instruments. They think it's like, you know, oh, it's a bright instrument. I can hit it as hard as I want. And then it's kind of like, and that's, um, <laughs> I think his voicing is really good. He always brings out the melody in the correct hand. He doesn't just play everything flat, which is a really mature way of thinking of this music. It's gonna sound contentious, but I do think white knuckle stroll does need to be played faster simply because it is white knuckle. I know I did say at the beginning that I don't mind it being slow. So there's two ways forward from this. I think if you wanted to keep it at this slower tempo, then find some ways to make the explosive moments more theatrical and the soft moments make them really small. When you want to cut the tension, really show that you're cutting the tension and then it becomes something different. It may not be exactly the same as the original intent of the piece, but it's something very interesting and all the sounds, all the repeated passages become a lot more varied. They don't all sound the same. Uh, alternatively, take the tempo faster. Take it about 1.25 to 1.5 times faster and then you won't have to worry about those little details as much, but you will still need to keep up the accuracy. I think some of the best renditions I've seen of White Knuckle Stroll, other than of course, Casey's own rendition in 2007. What, 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 a, what a performance. <laughs> some of the best ones I've seen have been at tempo, very accurate, very clean articulation, very, very nice dynamic contrast, and they also have those theatrical elements, those really big explosive moments that make you just hold your breath like, oh, did that really just happen? I would really love to see that from Jesse some more. I get a feeling that he's gonna play this again at some point anyway, so really good first effort. Uh, and I noticed that you called this a pretty good take, so I'm assuming that there's a few more versions to come, and I'd love to see you perform it again even stronger. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the performance. Uh, do you agree with what I said, or do you think that there are other things that need to be added or taken away? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'm sure Jesse would love them as well. Of course, his video is in the description as well. If you ever want to submit something to the segment, you can submit it at adamcampcussion.com forward slash discord, and just submit it under the Let's Watch channels, whether it's Let's Watch Marching or Let's Watch Concert. And yeah, I'm hoping to do more segments like this where we do a mix of everything rather than just watching videos. So if you prefer that, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you prefer me to just watch videos only, I can do that too. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give
give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And please hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to keep up with my uploads as I'm going to be once again uploading every single week. I did take a short break to work on We Are Heroes, which is finally out and is going to be available to listen to on all your favorite streaming platforms as well. Thank you so much to everybody who joined me for the premiere and I will see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. You make